by Tiffany here, and with me today I have my awesome friend Tessa. Say hi, Tessa. Hi. Are you happy to be here with me? Yep. Yep. We have for you guys today something really, really cool. We have from Wicked Cool Toys the Girl Scouts Cookie Oven. Look at this. It actually bakes Girl Scout cookies. It looks delicious. I bet it's going to smell awesome. The, the unit itself looks absolutely amazing. It's bright, it's colorful. There's a picture window there, it looks like. I'm excited about this. I, mean, I was in Girl Scout a long, long time ago. Weren't you in Girl Scouts, Tessa? Yep. Yep. Um, the funniest part was me and my friends, when we went outside, we thought we were playing on the playground, but we went to go look for rocks and sticks to paint. Yeah, Girl Scout does a lot of really, really good things for the community. So you guys were out there cleaning up yards and painting houses and stuff like that? Um, no, we sell cookies, we painted like sticks, and then, oh, okay. <laughs> and then we kept them. Okay, that's so cool, lots of arts and crafts. I learned how to build my very first um, real fire. Like, there's a special way to build a fire in Girl Scouts, and they taught me how to do that, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> well, we were too young to do that. You have to be a little older and go into big Girl Scouts. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You are still pretty young. You are just about to turn nine, right? <laughs> so this, I spun it around so we could take a peek at the back. Look at those girls. They look like they're having so much fun. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. It looks like little chocolate chip candies. There's all the different cookies. We can also do cakes, brownies, and so much more. It comes with the trays. It comes with the Thin Mint cookies. We are also um, gonna make some more over here. Tessa's got a little sample that she'll show us real quick here. Go ahead and pop it right on in the camera there. Beautiful, you have the Girl Scouts Thin Mint Cookies. Again, from Wicked Cool Toys. You can go right online, wickedcooltoys.com backslash Girl Scout Cookie Oven. Check out what they got on there. Can I say something? Absolutely. Um, these won't look like the cookies. They might look a little different, yep. but not just the same. You are absolutely 100% correct. If you look right on the front of the box, just like she says, these are actual cookies. These are the actual Girl Scout cookies that are pictured here. And then if you take a peek right here, let me zoom the camera in just a little bit. Those are what they'll look like when we make them. So they still look absolutely delicious. I would definitely eat those. <laughs> Girl Scouts, I just ate them away. Oh, I know. I, I am a personal fan of the... Um, coconut ones. I love the coconut I cookies. Uh, we also have these delicious chocolate peanut butter cookies that we're going to make. So yep. I'm I'm definitely ready for this. I love cookies and I love Girl Scout, Scout cookies especially. Of I'm, course kids love cookies. Of course kids love cookies and I'm a giant child too. So awesome. It's got a warmer on top so we can keep our cookies warm. It's got that shining bright Girl Scout logo right there. Eyes on the prize. Yep. So it does have a picture window. We can watch our cookies actually bake which is super cool. And also, they have a patent pending oven technology going on here. Just don't touch the top. It's going to be like hot. Well, it's going to be warm. Yep, absolutely. So still use with caution. I definitely recommend having mom or dad around to work with you. I'm here with Tessa. So I say let's get this opened up and do a little bacon. How about you? I'm <laughs> excited. I have no words. You have no words. It's all right. We're about to fill our mouths with cookies, so we don't need to toss it. So anything. now that we've got it opened up and out of the box, I can definitely see that this is a high-quality oven. This is not like any of the other little ovens that I've seen out on the market. It is a really nice, thick, heavy plastic. The unit itself has really nice weight to it, and it has a ton of features that you just don't see. It's got an actual on-off switch. It isn't one of those just plug in and it's automatically on, so you can control that, which is good. <laughs> it's got the light up little Girl Scout logo. It has a viewing window. Again, awesome. We can watch our stuff as it's baking. And as the lovely Tessa pointed out earlier, what can happen with a spatula? You can get it stuck, but with the um, Girl Scout oven, you just put the tray in, slide it, and then Ooh. there you go. It's cooking. It's perfect it's phenomenal you just like she said just set it in that very beginning part and the rest is taken care of by this little slide it's it's it simple would, it moving would. on to the other goodies what are some of the things that came with this tessa we have uh ingredients yep spatula mm -hmm. and the funniest things i thought i was playing with my friends 
and I thought this was a decorator. That is right, you did think that was a decorator. It looks like it. It looks just like a decorator. Yep. It, the decorators, they're the ones where you would pull it out and you'd stuff it with like the cookie dough. But this is different. This is different. It's like water squirter. You suck it in mm -hmm. and then you pull it up and then it, you measure it. Yes. It's a measuring. It is. If you pull it real close, you can see some of the different amounts there. It is called... The perfect cooking measurement. Yep. It is to get the perfect amount of water for mixing up our cookies. And then we also got our little pink spatula. What else came with it? Instructions. Boom. What are instructions good for, Tessa? Safety, care, everything safety for you. Yeah, <laughs> everything safety. It tells us some safety tips. If we open it up right here, there's some be a safe chef and follow these tips right down there. So go over those with mom and dad. It's also got for us some basic warnings and some safety tips. So and make sure. And it tells you all the cookies you can bake. It does. It tells us all the different cookies. There's some pictures of them. Yummy. Um, yeah, but, but please make sure that you read these with mom and dad because it is a hot, hot tool. Be aware of that. And it also has our cooking instructions. So since I want to make sure we have delicious cookies our first time, and I'm sure you do too, Tessa. And guess what? This is not the longest page of instructions I have ever read. <laughs> that is not the longest page? Nope. Oh, that's good. There are quite a few steps to this. It is step one through pop it down, pop it back up, <laughs> pop it down. 21, there are 21 steps, but it is literally step by step, start to finish. So we are definitely happy to have those. From home, we brought to help us mix our delicious cookies together, a bowl and a spoon. Again, we have our awesome little water measure to make sure that we have the proper amount of water for mixing our cookies. And Tessa pointed out something that was super important that I wanted to make sure that we brought up. Do you remember what that was, Tessa? Yes, it has a little instructions like right here. It says, do not touch, kind of, hands, no hands, yep. might be a little hot, yep. and it tells you a sign it's really hot. Yep, that's a steam, that steam coming up there. So please, please, please be very careful when working with your cookie So oven. I cheated a little bit <laughs> and I actually have taped my step-by-step uh, -step instructions up there so we can move right along through this process because we are baking and baking is not a quick process. So step one, we are going to start our baking adventure by plugging in the Girl Scouts cookie oven in a clean, dry area. Tessa has already plugged that in for me. Thank you, Tessa. Tessa also got us a little cup of water so we can grab our water with our little, I will, I will get this figured out, <laughs> the perfect cookie measurement dropper. So our second step is going to be to turn the knob to the on position and that's going to get it going on its way. And then while that is um, warming up for us, Tessa, I'm going to have you go ahead and get this spray down with some nonstick spray and just set it over to the side for me. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready? It's yep. time to make the batter. There's our batter mix. All right. I'm going to hand you this. And we are going to measure out nine milliliters of water. So go ahead and get in there. It's nice and easy to use. You just pull up on that back until it hits the nine millimeters. Alright, let me it pull. It might be a little leaky. It's okay. Here, let me pull this over. You can pour that right in our bowl, our big green bowl. Yeah, just push down on it. Perfect. <laughs> Made a fun little noise. I think our bowl is huge. Too big. Too big? Yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> we found a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, we did pick the smaller of the two. I will give us that. We are, we are bakers in our house, so we have a lot of large bowls. So I'm going to give you our chocolate cake mix or cookie mix. I'm going to give you a pair of scissors. I'm going to very carefully cut the package open. So it's not a whole lot of water, just a little bit in the bottom. Definitely picked an over, overly large bowl. All right, she's got our packet open here. Go ahead and dump that in there. Beautiful. It smells like chocolate. It does smell like chocolate. That smells good. All right, so what are we going to do next? Stir it. Yep, we're going to stir it.
might need to add just a little bit more water. It's looking a little thick. Try. <laughs> Once you have a smooth, non-watery, lump-free finish, which I would say we are, what do you think, pretty good? Yep. It's almost like a brownie batter. I have a question. Do we have to use our hands? <laughs> would you like to use your hands? Yes. <laughs> I think this might be a little messy for our hands. Aww. But maybe when we do the chocolate part, we can pick up the cookies and dip it in the chocolate. That's better chocolate. Oh, okay, yep, I think we, we can do that. We have to use our hands, we have to pick the cookie up. So that looks perfect. Next step is going to be putting it on our cookie sheet. So if you wanna grab that cookie sheet over here for us. Perfect. We are going to use the spoon to plop little one inch cookies onto our baking, baking tray. So it looks like we're only gonna be able to get the five cookies out of this batter, but that is, I think, because we were a little generous with some of our cookies. So I cleared out a little bit of room and pulled it forward just a bit so Tessa could reach a little bit better because she's going to now show us how to get this going, right? I did it before. You did do this before. So we're gonna start by sliding. Nope, put it sideways. There we go. We're gonna start by sliding it into that side. Okay, that's how far it can go. That's how far it can go? Yep. Okay. And now we're going to slide our slot all the way over. And there are our cookies. And we are going to set a timer for eight minutes. All right, time's up. Are you ready to pull out our cookies? Yes. Oh, it smells good. Can you smell that? What do you smell? I smell chocolate, mint, and cookies. Yes, cookies. Okay, so I've got a heat protectant plate so Tessa can set the pan on it when we pull them out of our cookie oven. So we're gonna slide our little slide all the way back over, putting that cookie tray right where we want it. Oh, it pops right out. And then Tessa's gonna grab it with her spatula. We're gonna set it right down on the plate. Yep. Okay, nice they, and careful, go ahead, you can get it. They had like a glove, cause in the pictures they had a glove. No, you pull it out far enough and then look at the back of the spatula. Stop, you got it out far enough. See how it hooks? You slide the one part under. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually trickier than it looks, guys, but we can figure this out. Nope, you're right, go back to where you were. And we're gonna come in this way. So hold on, you got this. With your other hand. Got your other hand? Yep. With your other hand, there we go. Okay, move that hand, yep, hook down. And then we're gonna go like that. You're gonna pull it out. Be very careful. Go ahead, don't touch it. Tessa, don't touch it. There you go, see how it holds? Yeah. Just like that. Don't ever, ever, guys, don't ever grab that with your hand. It is going to be warm. Unless you have a glove. Like yep, unless you have a cookie glove. They do have a cookie glove in the picture. So the hook- I just wish they had a glove <laughs> Yeah, that would be nice. But they come with so many cool things, I think we can't complain. You know, I'm pretty happy with this. The hook right there, if you set it down and then scoop under, it actually hooks right onto the cookie tray and for if, easy grabbing. Look how good those came out, Tessa. You did a great job. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought that proud. was going to be the tiniest one. No, those look fantastic. Even the ones that got a little uh, messy. messy, they look great. If you get a little messy, it's still good. It is still good. And bigger. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we are going to set those aside and just let them cool for a little bit. And then we will get them off of the cookie tray. In the meantime, we are going to mix up our peanut butter batter. So for our peanut butter cookie batter, it was five milliliters of water yep. and one packet of the cookie, cookie mix. So why don't you go ahead and get that stirring, girl? So we've got a nice little ball-shaped dough, so that's how we know we've got good consistency. So we'll set that aside. So again. there are our four delicious looking little cookies, and it tells us to put them in the fridge for five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Tessa if you wanna pop that in the fridge real quick. Okay, so our next step while our cookies are in the fridge cooling again for just that five minutes is we are going to get our chocolate mint topping going. So Tessa is gonna open up our bag here. Again, very carefully with supervision with a pair of scissors. Yep. 
and she's gonna dump them all onto our very freshly cleaned cookie sheet, which, by the way, was like super easy to clean. I just used some hot water and some sponge. This is a hand wash only tray. Looks like maybe it got a little bit uh, hot <laughs> in shipping. Well, it looks like some of the chocolate melted together, but that is a-okay because guess what? We're gonna melt it all together, right, Tessa? All right, so let me break it up just a little bit so we can get some even spread in through here. And this is super easy. We are going to set it and forget it. We're gonna pop that right up on top onto that warming tray. Yeah, I was wondering what they did. Yeah, That's gonna that. help heat that right up. There we go. Perfect. So I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick. We have been doing this for about three minutes now and the timing for the chocolate melting was roughly about five minutes, the instruction said. And it also said to make sure that we stirred it consistently throughout the entire thing to make sure that we get a nice even melt. And we're getting some pretty solid melting, wouldn't you say so? Yep. Yep, definitely some good melting. And another key point to mention is that when we are using the hot tray or the warming tray, to make sure that we're always using our pans because we don't want to put food directly into the it's just going to ruin them. So we yeah, are absolutely. ready for action. We have this nice, creamy, delicious looking mint chocolate right here. And we are going to pull this out of the warming tray and back onto the heat safe plate with our little grabber here. Whoops. That scared me. Whoops, sorry, yes. <laughs> we must do it with caution. And now is the fun part. Now is the part where we get to decorate with our Yay. delicious chocolate topping. So I'm going to pass that right over to Tessa. tray is warm to touch, but definitely on the cooler side of warm. So, whoops. There we go. <laughs> so there are our five delicious cookies. They definitely do not look like uh, the Girl Scout cookies, but they still look absolutely <laughs> delicious. So we've got our tray cleaned up and ready to go for our next batch of cookies. We need to create little balls of our peanut butter dough. So we'll go ahead and reach in there. It's gonna be sticky. Go ahead and pop this in just because you were covered covered in cookie dough so we're gonna yeah, go ahead and too. slide that right in again being careful not to touch that there it goes as far as it goes in and we're gonna give it a little slide over there we go you serious did we get it nope nope <laughs> so over there it's tricky you've had more experience doing this oh there we go it almost makes a yep. click sound perfect so it clicks into place. There's little actual teeth in there that hook onto the tray. It might be a little messy. It is definitely a little messy. All right, yeah. so it's time to pull them out. Are you ready? Slide it on over. You wanna give this a go? There you go. Remember how we got them out last time? Yep. Okay. Is that the shovel? Well, the nope. spatula? Yep. And then, just like that. Hook it just on the lip there. Then you're gonna hook it and then go down. There you go, and it pulls right out. Look at those. I think I made that one a little too big. <laughs> it got caught on the top of the oven. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna set those aside to cool. So our next step is going to be, again, melting our delicious chocolate and peanut butter coating. So our chocolate is ready to go. Brendan is actually gonna help us decorate these ones. He's gonna help us chocolate coat these bad boys. So I'm just gonna grab this out here again and try from this side since last time I almost dropped it. So there's our delicious batch of melted chocolates. All right, Brendan, we're not gonna touch this. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this for you. A nice blob of chocolate. He's gonna whoop, grab up his cookie and you're gonna coat all over. Oh, good job. That looks delicious. <laughs> You're much neater at this than Tessa was. Tessa had too much fun with her chocolate. She was putting it all over her hands. You're very neat. You like, did you like 
doing this kind of stuff? Yeah. Yeah? You, you helped me out really well with the Christmas cookies this year, didn't you? Instructions actually said to dip with a spoon, dip the cookie into the chocolate with a spoon, but I just don't feel confident in my spoon dipping abilities with this being thicker chocolate. So I think how we did it worked out pretty well. It worked well with the grasshoppers or the mint chocolate, thin mint cookies. So there are our mint chocolate cookies and our peanut butter chocolate cookies. They look nothing like the Girl Scout cookies, but they look way more edible than, again, some of the other baking ovens I have seen, they, I would eat these, I would eat these. Are you guys ready to try them? Yeah. I did tell you, they well, my first. That was, like that was box. yours. So there's his peanut butter cookie. Tessa, do you want a uh, Thin Mint or a peanut butter cookie? Thin um, Mint, right? Yes. Thin Mint, you want, which one? That one. That one? Okay, there's Tessa's Thin Mint. What do you think, Brendan? How's it taste? Oh, good. Really good? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a peanut Very butter cookie. Very soft. Very soft, soft is good. We don't want hard, dry cookies. Oh wow, those are really good. <laughs> those are like really good. Those those taste just like the peanut butter ones from the Girl Scouts. They actually taste like peanut butter. They do, it's really good. Pardon me for talking with my mouth full. <laughs> no, just a really big thank you to Wicked Cool Toys for sending this awesome Girl Scouts cookie oven to me. It is super fun. I had a blast working with Brendan and Tessa. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah did you like the cookies? Were they good? Yeah, what was your yeah. favorite thing about the cookies? The whole thing. The whole, the whole thing? Just um, everything? The mint. The mint? The mint flavor? Oh, my favorite thing was that they were soft. They were not hard, dry cookies, and they weren't undercooked, gooey they, cookies. They looked like they were hard, hot. They did look like they were going to be hard, but they weren't. They were really soft and very cakey. So I definitely give that a win. I, that is a thumbs up for me. What do you guys give it? Oh, I got two thumbs up from Brendan. I got two thumbs up from Tessa. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's a win in our book. Thanks for watching, everybody.